This big winter storm showed us how our electricity is heavily dependent on natural gas providers. Nearly 50% of our power plants run on natural gas. Now this storm won't be as cold as last February or as long, but it's the grid's first major test since then, and there's still the potential for a power outage. Here's a live look now at ERCOT's grade conditions. You can see things running fairly normal right now. Our investigative reporter, Tanya Iser, has been living and breathing uh, this story since the grid failed. I know you spoke with ERCOT officials today. Are they expecting any reductions at all in gas supply? Well, actually, I reached out to them yesterday and they finally got back to me today and they sent me a statement. And obviously there is some concern based on what they sent us. They say ERCOT has received notice there will be some instances of gas curtailments, particularly in the Dallas area. Uh, generators affected by these curtailments will be able to use alternative fuels stored on site or use alternative pipelines. Now. What that means is that the uh, power plants have taken action. They have alternative fuels, so they're not expecting it to be a huge problem, but it's obviously concerned. You know, the experts are telling us this would be somewhere in the neighborhood of between um, 60 to 520,000 homes if this if power was to go out. Uh, we did hear from the railroad commissioner. I'm not, one of the railroad uh, spokesmen earlier said that they were not expecting any major disruptions, but we've been talking to the experts, and they say this really points to the need to harden our uh, critical natural gas infrastructure against cold weather like this. Yeah, to that point, I know the, the power plants were required to winterize. Where do things stand with, with the natural gas? Well, the, the legislature, what they did was um, they basically put it off. They allowed the uh, natural gas industry. It will not be till 2023, next winter, that the legislature will force um, the natural gas industry to winterize. And what they'll be looking at is the critical natural gas infrastructure, that infrastructure that directly impacts um, our power production. And so, you know, we'll be holding them accountable and making sure that that happens. And you got a statement from, from ERCOT as well? Yeah, the, the statement that I read you earlier, that was from ERCOT. Okay. Um, and again, but we continue to reach out to the Railroad Commission. We continue to reach out to uh, the uh, association that, um, you know, lobbies for that, those groups, making sure that we hold that industry accountable uh, to be just as winterized as our power industry. Yeah, what happened last year cannot be allowed to happen again. Thank you so much for your work, Tanya.